what's up guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i will show you guys how i do the time freeze effect inside of blender so for this tutorial i already have the aircraft i'm using and this is textured aircraft and if you like to use this also in your project i will put the link to this in the description and you can get this for free on my patreon so all of you guys can get it and use it on your project and if you want to and if you want this project file you can get it if you are a patron if you support my patron you can get this and that's all and also for the movie clip i'm using you can also get that for free on my patron all right now let's get started so first thing i want to do now is to just load in our footage i'm using so i'll just click here on plus sign go to vfs then choose motion tracking okay now I'll click on this plus sign then i'll locate by foot okay, now after loading your footage now we need to cut just trim this out so we first want to click on set this frame okay now we can see the frame of this footage now we can play this just to see what we have here okay what i want to do now is just to cut out where i don't need in this timeline just place carefully then understand where to cut so i will just start from here at frame 70 here okay all right then i will stop at frame 220 just, I will just put this end frame to 220 and the starting frame to 70 okay so now when I play this again all right so I have something like this all right so first thing we need to do now is to track this footage and to track in blender is very easy I've done a lot of tracking tutorial in the past so I'll just do this right now very quick then you can get how I did this okay so first one I do now is just to just to do some auto track not something much okay I'll just go ahead and detect features like so just tweak it to get more features to track so in blade that is the easiest way to track when you are doing something quick so we just add a lot of features and track it at once okay this is okay so you don't track moving shots so we just i'll just press shift a to undo that then b bracket select then and we just select him out to then delete all the track in this body so we don't track all those things so also the tracker on the top here i'll just bracket select them so i delete them also okay so for this tree i'll just Select some tricks. You don't want to track anything moving in this end. So you should be careful. Just pick them. B to select. Box select for B, then delete them. Okay, now I'll just press A to select all, then Ctrl T. So as you can see, there's also some moving vehicle here. You don't track them. So all these vehicles, just be careful. Don't track any moving shots on the scene. So you just check your scene properly and you don't want to track anything that will run your shot. Okay. So after doing all that cleaning up, just press track. So press A, then track. Alright, so you can see that it's very quick and everything is done. It's done tracking and I can see this tracking are quite nice. From the curve here so you can just trim this off as you can see we have some tracking that is are not good so i just delete this select it from the curve then delete that okay that's okay for that so the next thing to do is to input your camera settings in the for blender so good to solve this camera properly so just click on this tracking go to camera here so i put my sensor with here which is 23.5 and the length i shot with the length is 24 millimeter lens so i will just go to solve here then click on and just click keyframe here i'll just leave everything just click on it just solve the camera so let blender do the solving itself and let's see the result we got okay you can see that the result is very bad so it is not so properly so what we do now is just click, click on this refine then resolve
so it's the same it's still failing so we need to untick this keyframe then we need to do this manually so i'll just put some keyframe to this 24 to 200 so just put some keyframe to you so you can see that after putting some keyframe we have a very good soft which is 0 0.4 which is quite nice as you can see that we have no problem with this and this is really cool okay so that is done tracking so we need to put this tracking information in the space so we just come down and click on first of all we want to set the scale and the orientation of this so click on this just choose three tracking and just choose this this just through tracking that are parallel so we don't even we don't really have some parallel track so what i will do is to just pick some tracking that i seems on the floor so these two but we'll just trick it later i want to pick parallel shot so i'll just trick it later in the same so i'll just set floor okay as you can see that this the 3d scene orients properly here so for the origin so i will just click on here then set this at the origin okay so i'll just set tracking to same all right so that is done now now come back to layout okay now for by default blender also drop some background for us now we have foreground and background okay which i will explain later okay all right now when you go to the camera view and play this you see that our tracking is quite nice you can see and the next thing to do is to animate this aircraft and just place it where it's supposed to be